Hello and welcome to your mom's favorite channel. Just pause right there. I know that I haven't been posting for a little more than a month now. I'm still alive and well, but this lockdown thing, eh, it got me a little demotivated. I am privileged that I've gotten some work during this time, so I've been busy with that, but I've also been procrastinating a load. So I am still busy with work, I'll try not to procrastinate anymore, and I'll try to get back into the weekly postings. But just to kick things off in the good old your mom's favorite channel spirit, I already fucked up. When recording this video, I never switched on the mic. So today I'll treat you to the acapella sounds of cooking, brought to you by yours truly. Enjoy. So today we'll be making a mushroom or a beefless stroganoff depending on what you have available to you. This is quite a simple recipe and won't take a lot of time to make. So first you'll need one chopped onion, two chopped cloves of garlic, and one punnet of any kind of mushrooms that you prefer. And then on low medium heat in a pan, add some cooking oil and wait till it's shimmering. Then start by frying your onions, add half a teaspoon of paprika and a generous amount of fresh cracked black pepper. Once the onions start going translucent and become nice and tender, you can add your garlic and your mushrooms. Let that cook for about 5 minutes, mixing it occasionally. If you live in South Africa, I highly recommend that you try out these chunky strips from fries. These are perfectly suited for this dish. It looks like steak strips and it also has a delicious hearty flavor. Add that straight into the pan, turn the heat up to medium and let that cook for about 3 minutes. And then we'll make a quick sour cream. In a blender, add 150 grams of tofu and 100 grams of plant-based milk. Give that a quick blend and then add 1 teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a pinch of salt and 1 tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Give it another blend and put that aside. Add 80 grams of any plant-based butter into the pan, mix it until all the butter is melted. And then add one heap tablespoon of all-purpose flour into the pot. And then mix it thoroughly until everything is coated with the flour. And let that cook for two minutes. Depending on how thick you like your sauce. I like mine quite thick, so I'll be using 250 milliliters of vegetable stock. If you don't like it as thick, just add a little more stock. On medium heat, add the stock to the pan stirring continuously until the sauce thickens up. And once the sauce is thick, add a good splash of soy sauce for some extra flavor. Add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, mix it in until everything is combined, and then add the sour cream. If you don't want it to be this runny, just add less milk to the tofu when blending it. Give it a good mix and let cook for another 5 minutes so all the flavors can combine. Thyme works really well with this dish, so optionally add 1 teaspoon of dried thyme. This dish is usually served with pasta, but today I'll be serving it with some rice because I've been eating way too much pasta during this lockdown. And if you don't want your sauce to be as thick as mine, just add a little more stock. So it's still winter here in South Africa and this dish is perfect to warm up those cold days. And if you're not a glutton like me, this dish will easily serve 4 people. So I hope you liked this recipe, if you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below and as always I'll see you in the next one. Peace!